Hi YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps and welcome to my new series, Flip Bag Art. People, I am so excited about this form of art. If this is your first time um, checking out my Flip Bag Art, um, I will have links in the description box. This is one, my second Flip Bag card that I created. This was the Lori style. And I'll have a link for this video, super duper cool. And I gave you guys a sneak peek of my flippy card. And I'm gonna have a tutorial on showing you how you can make your own flippy cards. And so I introduced to you guys my latest flip bag creation. And that's the easiest flip bag album, flip bag book you can make. Are you guys ready? Isn't this gorgeous? I absolutely love it. <laughs> I tell you, I began playing with clear bags over a month ago. And the ideas, they just continue, continue, continue. People, easy, simple, and quick. No adhesive needed. No binding needed. Super easy. On the cover page, by the way, this is acetate. I'm gonna show you guys how you can score acetate. I had never done that before, but it's quite easy. And I'll have a link to uh, different products that you can buy. And I'm also gonna show you guys some products that I used. But flip back art is perfect. If you are a sticker hoarder like I used to be, I have hundreds of packs of stickers. Flip back art is perfect for stickers your dimensional embellishments for your rub-ons for your for shakers for um your gemstones oh my goodness just what you could use in flip back art okay so let me get to it this is the front cover as you know that i have three bags i call my bags flippies on the bottom here with a rub-on or rub-ons that spell fun a sticker here and some gem stickers here sequins added on each bag this right here of course is a flippy now what's different about this one i have the acrylic heart adhered on top of the flippy flippies are bags and so you store things in it but you don't have to you can use it on top like i did you could also cut up your flippies i'll be sharing that in an upcoming tutorial. Now, what's cool about using flippies and and creating with flip back art, you get to layer like never before. You see how this one flips? Well, I've positioned my flippy so when it flips back, it flips in the center of this area here, which is on the next page. So super duper cool. And if you don't like where that's at, detach it and reattach it wherever you like. And I'm loving all things clear. And so I just love the idea of scoring and using acetate as your flip book frame. Okay, so here is a recollections. You guys probably have this in your stash. I got this several years ago. They're bling with their adhesive um, lace there. So let's open it up. You can make as many pages as you like. Right here is a page and you see a waterfall effect that I have here. These are rub-ons that I got from Tuesday morning recently. I'm gonna share that with you guys. Right here is a die cut of a substance that you might have in your stash. I will be sharing what that substance is. I'm gonna dedicate a whole flip book album to this substance here, but I have that on a flippy. Once again, this is the one that flips a little sticker. I love the transparent stickers and flip back art. Now here I have a waterfall of three flippies and these flippies here, I'll have the sizes, but this size is the business card size. I'm gonna add pictures in these flippies because you can add pictures. And by the way, you guys, this is totally acid-free archival. And the bags that I use, of our they're good quality so it's going to hold up for a very long time now here's a page here and i've added a, a ribbon bow in this flippy now what i didn't do with this one you can take a pop dot and add it to your embellishment add it like right there and then when you put your embellishment in it will stick to the baggie you can do that 
if you don't want that embellishment to shift. I didn't do that here. I think I might go back and do it because I want to be able to see laugh with me when I close my album, okay? And so here I've added a sticker that says you are special, nothing here just yet. Now I'm gonna come back to this page. This is a very cool page right here. And this page here, I have a flippy. You can add paper to your flippies or you can just add your stickers. So here I didn't add any paper. And here is a different size flippy and I've added an acrylic flower arrangement there. One glue dot is holding this whole arrangement down and that glue dot is in back of this flower here. So, flips like that. I just love it, love it, love it. And I have a smaller flippy here going the same way as these pages. I just haven't added anything to it yet. And this last flippy, the back one, um, I have a flower. The cool thing about flip bag art, you can put whatever you want to put in the bags. So it's all about decorating your bags and putting things in your bags and arranging your flippies wherever you want them on your page. And so this is that substance. I'm going to share with you guys that I've die cut this bird cage out of. And I have my flippy going this way. And this is a different size, like a border flippy. And I have the a die cut of a bird there. And when it closes, it lands with the bird inside the bird cage. And so I love the fact that you can layer with your flip back art. Okay, so let's get to this special page right here. I have this page closed with one of my charm paper clips. I just love adding a simple charm to a paper clip. And there's a cross. Now, watch how this opens up. Ta-da! I have three flippies here. <laughs> Absolutely love it. And I have rub-ons is a waking, no, hope is a waking dream with a sticker here. Seize the moment. And on this side, I stamped on this center flippy because you can stamp using stays on ink and it says creativity is contagious. That's a stamp that I just got from Tuesday morning the other day. I love this stamp. It was four bucks. Now, that's not it though, right? Check out the bottom part. This here. I'm calling this my flippy flop. <laughs> well, you know what? Let me turn it this way so you can see it. If you take a look at that, look at the layers there, like a waterfall effect, except these open up like that. So I didn't add anything on it yet, but you could add stickers and spell a name. I just thought that was so cute. So I'm calling this technique Flippy Flop. It reminds me of a person that talks a lot, flap, 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 flap. No, it's called Flippy Flap, not Flippy Flop. Flippy flap yes okay so let me give you guys a quick tutorial showing you how or just the basic construction and a couple so techniques. here i'm using my martha stewart scoring board and the key to scoring acetate i'm going to have a link in the description box of this acetate i got it from amazon the key is using that type of screwdriver it's the flat type <laughs> and you want to score it three to four times now if you score it too hard it can um, split in certain areas, but if it splits, go ahead and use it because the project I showed you, it was split in a couple areas and it still works because acetate is very durable. You want to flatten that out. Now at this time, you can round, cut your paper down and you can round the corners, add your stickers, whatever you want to add to it. And I have to cut my paper down more because it's not going to fit here. Now, um, the flippies that I'm using or the clear bags, they have the adhesive on the flap or on the lip, not on the body. That's important for this particular, this particular flip album. Now here, I have the adhesive on the bottom. I am placing the, the adhesive on the left side, that groove on the left of that groove. And that's important because you want your flippy to be able to flip. And if you place the adhesive on the right side, well, it's not going to flip. So align that as, as accurately as you can and flatten that out a little bit more. Now, in the inside where, you, where your binding is, you're going to have that 
flap and I left my flap because I don't mind but you can add washi tape on both sides I'm going real fast so it's kind of sloppy but I just wanted to show you guys you can add washi tape to cover that area up you could add stickers right there or you could do like I did and just leave it because it's all clear so that don't bother me now I'm taking a smaller flippy and you would want to do this first, but you could add it on top of your washi tape as well. Okay, so now we're doing that special um, technique there. I'm taking smaller flippies, and you're just going to layer the flippies on top of one another, but you want to leave that a little opening where you stick your paper in because you want it to be able to flip and to close. And you take your top one adhesive on the top, and you could position it in back of that flippy there. And that's just really simple. You just you fold it and you're good to go. This is that other special technique. This is the flippy flap. Measure your paper. I measured mine um, double the height and just fold it, score it, and then you stick your um, paper in and you have a flippy flap there. And you can adhere that one either with the add under that way or over that way. And so I'm showing you the over. And that's the under. And you just add additional now, flippy flap. I like flap. to work on acetate or a sheet of sheet protector when I'm working with my um, my flippies because they attach and detach very easy. This is probably my favorite paper stack of all time. I got this from Hobby Lobby. I cannot wait to visit another Hobby Lobby out of town. These stickers and rub-ons and stamp is from Tuesday morning. And that special medium, you guys, you have this. It is vital. So these bags are my favorite. They're by a company called Clear Bags. These you could pick up at Michael's. They have decorations on the bags. And then these are the ones at Tuesday morning. You could choose any size bags you like. I will have a link to Clear Bags and in the description always, box. Blessings.